Welcome everyone to Every Stage Smart Continues. I just want to remind us to invest in ourselves. Yes, follow the simple process of actually investing in your own well-being, investing in your own brand, investing in your own brain, and most importantly, investing in your own body. Yes, the first process of us actually being transformed, the first process of us actually being revolutionized in order for us to get institutionalized and in order for us to stop being systemized is from us actually working on our brain. What are we actually putting in our minds? What books are we reading? What social clubs are we joining? What new articles? What new activities? Or what communities are we joining with our minds? With our time and with the information in which we process. Because in this day and era, if it bleeds, it leads. In this era of calamities, atrocities, and a lot of destructions, you actually have to guide your mind. Guide your brain. What's going in there that can actually help you live a better life? Stop listening to sad stuff. Stop listening to bombings and stop listening to terrible news about the whole world at large. Listen to things that will uplift you and listen to things that will make you more positive and certainly help you work on your kindness because that is when you're going to be able to work on your body. Yes, the second B is your body. You actually have to feel good in order for you to look good and in order for you to actually feel good, you actually have to do the work. So I want you to actually feel Feed yourself really well, eat healthy, actually walk around, actually do some exercise in order for you to get those endorphins pumping, get the dopamine pumping out of your body, in order for the serotonin to come out, in order for you to actually feel good. Yes, I know it's a short-term result. I know sometimes it could be a short-term fit. I know sometimes it could be even a short-term hit of the dopamine of you actually being satisfied about your short-term accomplishment. It could be as easy as you walking around the neighborhood. It could be as smooth as you joining a gym membership, and it can actually be as easy as you joining a sports club. Because I want you to know that we need our community, and our community actually needs everybody in order for somebody to actually make a change. So I want you to use your body in which now you've cultivated by actually developing a life of physical and social abundance in order for you to work on the third B. And the third B will be actually you working on your brand. Because after you've worked on your brain and you've worked on your body, people are very curious now. People want to know how this person is walking with this sort of confidence. People want to know how this person is really kind and how this person is really positive. And they're very curious about what you've been putting in your mind. They're very curious about the books you've been reading. They're curious about the trips you've taken. And they're curious about the connections and the partnerships in which you've cultivated. And they see your body. You're radiating with a lot of energy. You're radiating with a lot of positivity. And you're radiating with a lot of confidence. And this is the reason why they are curious about your brand. Yes, you're very confident. What is it that you do? And this is the point, and this is the where, and this is the how, and this is the when you tell them, this is who I do, and this is what I am, and this is what I want to become, and this is the transformation in which I've actually gone and I've actually made. Because life is all about us knowing how to use the three B's. When we work on our brain, our brain will give our body an opportunity to work so we can cultivate our brand. Our brand could be easy as us writing a piece of good literature at night. Our brand could be something as good as us volunteering our time in our community. Our brand could be something like us doing something outside of our regular daily jobs. Something we're doing to cultivate our ability, our hobby, and our interests.